We've been using the plough here on Yo Farm for a while now, and here's a few tips that might make it more effective and properly used on your own property. One thing that's first and foremost is to ensure that the surveying has been done appropriately for what your outcomes are on your property, whether it's to fall or to on contour or whatever you've deemed necessary to your soil types and your outcomes. Just operationally with your plough, make sure your tyres are properly inflated. Then we need to adjust your depth settings to make sure, determining through dig samples, what your root level of your uh, soil is at. This is simply adjusted via this device here. Dropping it down will obviously enable less depth of the tines in the ground. Bringing it up enables the tines to go deeper. This has been a reasonable starting point for a lot of our property here. When it's actually at depth and in the ground, you must maintain that these sidebar end pieces here are parallel with the ground. This is adjusted by winding your top link forward and back, enabling a pitch difference in that. Another point in setup of plough is determining where you want to locate your tines relative to your tractor or your outcomes. A good tip would be to align your outer tines centrally to your wheel marks. This is to decompact anything that's been caused by the tyres and also on your second go round to be able to be able to track in between the runs and not be running on the area that you were before. When you're operating the plough, make sure you're at a safe walking speed. Anything too fast, you'll end up losing traction or potentially causing damage to yourself or equipment. Part of the plough design are these shear pins. They're designed as a weak point so they break so other components don't. Also doing this, make sure you remove the shackles that have been used in the tie down process as they'll be sheared if anything ever breaks through there. If a pin is sheared, small components may need to be removed with this tapered punch simply knock them through and replace the mild steel pin that's part of the replacements kit. When using the plough, if you hit something, it depends what it is. A lot of rocks will be pulled out of the ground. Uh, roots will tend to tuck under and will pull you up. Medium sized roots will be cut in half by the front of the tines, but a lot of the time you may find yourself pulled up, especially in lower horsepower tractors. In the, if that happens, you immediately put your foot on the clutch in the tractor and slightly back up to lift yourself up and over the root and then sink back in and move forward again. Don't try and go too deep to start with, I think it's the most important aspect of things. Dig a hole, assess where your clay pan level is and make work yourself progressively down into the ground. Even if you might have the horsepower, don't use it all unnecessarily. You've got to allow biology to do its work as part of this process. This is a great tool and quite robust and well engineered. If you follow the simple safety instructions, you'll be, you'll be right on your property. Don't hesitate to ask any of our group for any questions or queries and we'll be more than happy to help.